last year there were reports about the Wuhan laboratory in China and the origins of the coronavirus. This was something that when people were talking about this in the midst of last year, people were getting banned left and right for making these claims. Now, there seems to be more people that are becoming aware that these claims are probably actually very valid. So now you have House Republicans that are launching an investigation into the taxpayer money that was directed to the Wuhan lab through the NIH grant. So in 2014, the NIH uh, awarded a grant to the U.S.-based EcoHealth Alliance to study the risk of the future emergence of coronaviruses from bats. In 2019, the project was renewed for another five years, but it was canceled in April 2020, if you're paying attention to the timeline here. Three months after the first case of the coronavirus was confirmed in the uh, in the U.S., EcoHealth ultimately received $3.7 million over six years from the NIH and distributed nearly 600000 of that total to China's Wuhan Institute of Virology. So this was approved by the NIH as well. Now, this is a thing that they call gain of function research, where scientists modify a virus to make, to make it more infectious amongst humans, then study how to actually combat it. The issue is, is, of course, that went wrong. Something obviously went wrong there. Now, in a Senate hearing, Fauci told Senator John Kennedy that he can't quite guarantee that American taxpayer money didn't go to gain of function research at the Wuhan lab, which basically means that the money went there. That's what he means. He can confirm that it went there because you have to be able to. If you can't, without a doubt, say it didn't go there, then you're basically saying that it did go there. And we have proof that it actually did go there. We had this report last year. It's just now Fauci's kind of changed his tune about it a little bit, as he's been doing for the past year as well. Now, once again, people have been banned off of Twitter for this. People have been banned off of YouTube for this. What is the, What are we changing this to now? The thing is that information changes over time and you have these reports coming up that we knew about. Most people were aware of the Wuhan laboratory for a long time, but now we're seeing more reports about what's actually taking place. So the Daily Telegraph uh, obtained a dossier and it says China deliberately suppressed or destroyed evidence of the coronavirus outbreak in an assault on international transparency that caused tens of thousands of lives, according to a dossier prepared uh, by the Western government's of the COVID-19 contagion. It goes on to say, the Chinese government covered up news of the virus by silencing or disappearing doctors who spoke out. If you remember, there was several doctors that were trying to warn people about what was going on, and then all of a sudden, they were gone, out of the news, apparently put into jails, then they got coronavirus and died. How, how was this not looked into? I mean, I was asking these questions last year, but it goes on to say, destroying evidence in in of it in the laboratories and refusing to provide live samples to international scientists who were working on a vaccine. So in other words, they didn't even help to solve the issue because that's what happens when you live in a communist country. So at least one of the estimated 50 virus samples Dr. Xi had in her laboratory is a 96% genetic match to COVID-19. So unless they're saying it was some random fluke, the fact of the matter is, is that something, the samples that they got from that laboratory literally match what COVID-19 is. And somehow we're just ignoring this took place. I mean, Biden recently stopped the research into what the origins of this were. And I've said this on Parler before too, but I don't care about a January 6th, uh, January 6th commission. That's not what we need to be dealing with here. What we need to be trying to figure out is having a coronavirus commission, something to figure out and investigate what took place here. Because had China notified the world and was transparent like any other country pretty much would have been except for China because they don't care about anybody but themselves. Had they been transparent, we would have been so much more prepared for what was going on. But it's their covering up of information that caused everything to happen too late in the process. That's, that's the biggest issue here is that something could have been done about this. Now, this should remind every American also, by the way, that we need to be asking questions all the time. It doesn't, you're not a bad person because you're a skeptic. You're not a bad person because you're asking questions. The thing is that this is a matter of life and death when we look at these issues here. And you have Democrats that will tell you, no, don't pay attention to that. Look, whatever the government tells you, you just do it. Don't question it. Don't ask about it. Just do what they tell you because the government are your parents. They're going to take care of you. And we're saying, 
The government can't be trusted. They're not parents. It's made up of flawed people. Why are we just going along with everything that they say? I mean, that's ultimately what messed China up too. That's what got these doctors jailed is that they believed in the government. The government jailed these people. They kept them from saying what they wanted to say. They suppressed them. They banned them. Isn't that exactly kind of what social media is doing to us right now? And we're wondering why we should, why we should be asking these questions. We have to be asking questions all the time. Because if we don't, we'll never have the actual true answers to what's going on. And information that you think might be true today could change tomorrow. And then who really looks stupid? Because now Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, as I mentioned, have banned people for literally saying what is provable. <laughs> because it, they just said it earlier than they want it to acknowledge it as being. Now Dr. Fauci flips on it. Who knows if he'll flip again. But as more people become aware of this type of stuff, are they, is Twitter going to reinstate those bans? I doubt it. I doubt they're going to do that. Mike Pompeo, by the way, said the virology lab is still up and running. It's still probably conducting the same kinds of research it was conducting that may have well led to this virus escaping from that laboratory. Because no effort's been done to do anything about it. And everybody is scared of the Chinese. And especially when you look at Beijing Biden, he's not going to do anything about it either, by the way. He's just going to sit on it. Any investigation Trump was planning on doing into the virology lab, Biden's not going to deal with it. So you can kiss that opportunity goodbye. But at least somebody's trying to get an investigation going into what's taking place here because it kind of needs to be done. It does. We don't want this happening again. I mean, we, we can talk about whatever you want it to happen, but it's a communist government that caused this virus to be significantly worse than it should have been. Funded by scientists doing whatever they wanted to do because science ultimately doesn't stop. They always are trying to push the boundaries. They do a lot of disgusting things that many people aren't even aware of for the sake of research. And then when we get hit by this virus, trust the government and everything they wanted you to do. Well, the government was kind of responsible for a lot of this. And now they're having to fix their own problem. We don't want more government. We want less of it. That's the answer to all of this. You just watched a clip from The William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.